Hi, welcome to English 100. I'm Gary Zacharias. I'll be your instructor. I've been a teacher at Palomar since 1990, and before that I was a high school teacher. So I welcome you to this class. I hope it goes really well for you. I feel like I've got a lot that I can help you with, and so I hope it's a, a real success. Uh, let me say something about English 100. It can come in two different flavors, and I'm making this an overview for everybody whether you're taking one class or the other. So I've taught both of them. One is just a traditional English 100. Then there's something called English 100 plus 49. So the English 100, if that's what you're taking, it's a four unit class. If you're taking the 100 plus 49, it's a six unit class. And two of those units are used as a way to strengthen your foundational English uh, writing skills. So that's the difference between the two classes. They're both going to do a research paper, and they're both going to have the same number of essays due. And we'll be talking about the research paper a little bit later in a different video. Um, I would just like at this point to suggest having you really be honest and think about your reading skills. What's your reading like? Is it a real struggle? If it is, Palomar's got some of the best reading teachers out here. Their reading department is amazing. I've never had a student say to me, well, I took reading and it was kind of a waste of time. No, I've had students say that was one of the best classes I've ever taken. My speed of reading is up and my comprehension. So it's not that I'm reading fast, but I don't know what I'm reading. I'm reading faster and I'm re retaining much more of the material. So if you think reading is going to be a problem, I'd suggest strongly that you consider taking a reading class. Now this may be uh, English 100 is offered in, in several different formats. Uh, during the COVID time period, it was a Zoom class in many cases, and so I would meet my students online and say hello to them, little squares, you know what that's like if you did that, uh, seeing each other that way. And then, of course, now we're face-to-face, -face, so that this may be a face-to-face -face class, but it's still hello, I'll see you soon in the classroom. But there's a third kind of uh, English 100 that's offered that I'm teaching occasionally. It's called asynchronous. That's a mouthful. What it means is you don't have to come to Palomar. We, we won't meet as a class face-to-face. -face. There will be no Zoom component. You work on the material that I bring to you, videos that I have. I, I'll try to make it a, a simple process, but you will work your way through the material. So you need a lot of self-discipline to be able to sit down when you need to to get that work done. But the good news is you do it when you want. If you want to do it two o'clock in the morning, that's fine, doesn't matter. There are deadlines along the way. You can't just wait till the end of the semester and then dump a bunch of uh, papers uh, onto my desk. So make sure you know those deadlines and you work on the material along the way. Be sure you're comfortable with Canvas. You go to Palomar's webpage and up in the top right, one of the things you click is Canvas and there will be Canvas courses or whatever you're taking if you have three courses and the teachers are using Canvas, you'll see three tiles and you click on the tile. So if you click on our tile, you're going to spend a lot of time with the modules. That's where we lay out the class. If you're, again, this is to the asynchronous people. We'll lay out the class week by week. Uh, that's where you park your assignments that I can interact and, and take a look at them. Um, please take a look at that letter I sent you. It had, I know it was long, okay? I, I just had to have a lot of information to help you out. Everything from uh, dealing with athletic department, if that's the case, it's a bunch of resources to help you succeed at Palomar. There's a lot of good information in there. Skip the parts that, aren't, that don't apply to you, but don't lose that letter. Make sure you go through that. And then the syllabus. I sent you a syllabus. And it says, it's like three pages long, it says what our course is going to be like. So it's almost like a contract. If you buy a car, you buy a, a, a house, you buy, I don't know, carpet at Home Depot, there's always a contract to fill out. And you don't just sign it, you read the contract. What are your responsibilities? What's this person going to do? What's due when? How much money is due? So something like that is in the syllabus. I'm laying out everything that's going on in the class. And by staying in the class, you're agreeing that syllabus is what you understand and you agree to abide by it and I agree to abide by it as far as due dates and all this sort of stuff. So make sure you look at the syllabus. 
And then I've got assignments along the way. We'll talk about that as it comes up. Again, don't fall behind. Stay up on the assignments. And make sure you, you if you have any questions, don't struggle. Don't say, oh, this is probably a stupid question. No, contact me, G. Zacharias. All the teachers out at Palomar have that first initial and then their last name at palomar.edu. And I'm happy to get back to you. I'll get back to you quickly. I do return emails pretty quickly. So don't struggle. Let me know if I can help. And I really hope you have a good semester out here. I'll be talking to you again.